you watch me?
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presentations of color. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the posting of the colors. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you for respecting our flag and anthem. In honor of Armed Forces Day, which was yesterday, we would now like to recognize those students who have a family member or members who could not attend this ceremony because they are deployed. Students, if you have a family member who is deployed, they might be watching because it's live streamed. Would you stand up and wave? Anybody? We would also like to recognize anyone in attendance who has served or is serving in our military. Will you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Students, 
parents, family guests, and honored platform guests, we welcome you to the graduation of the Blackman High School class of 2019. I would like now to introduce our platform guest, starting with our superintendent of schools, Mr. Bill Spurlock. She's Secondary Instruction Coordinator, Dr. Kay Martin. Staff Attorney, Dr. Sarah Page. School Board Members, Terry Hodge. Jeff Jordan. Tiffany Johnson. And our School Board Chair, Jim Estes. We appreciate our central office staff and board members for their support of the education of all of our young people and their support of our teachers and support of our community. Thank you, board and central office staff. I'd like to introduce the assistant principals of Blackman High School. They are tremendous workers and people, and I'm proud to call them colleagues. Mr. Ken Reed, Mr. Scott Lawless, Ms. Andrea Holder, and Mr. Tim Pettigo. Mr. Weeks is our graduation coordinator, and he is the best. Thank you, too, to our band directors, Brenda Munson and Jonathan Wright. They're in the back band. Thank you. And the BHS choirs are represented today as well, and they are under the direction of Ms. Wendy Payne. Thank you. This year we have quite a few Blackman High School faculty in attendance and I would like to give the audience and the students a chance to join me in thanking them for their hard work and their caring and their time. Faculty, if you could stand. And finally, to me, it's appropriate this day after Armed Forces Day to introduce Blackman High School's Teacher of the Year, Colonel Gary Spry. <laughs> Colonel Spry is a man of honor and integrity and unparalleled work ethic. He's a critical thinker who plays a valuable role in various leadership teams in the school. He supervises a large JROTC program whose mission it is to motivate young people to be better citizens. Through instruction in wellness, leadership, government, character, and responsibility, this program, under the leadership of Colonel Spry, does just that. All our students, faculty, staff, administration, me, are better because of you. And I'm honored to then introduce the Faculty Selected Teacher of the Year, Colonel Gary Spry. So students, that's a lot of introductions, but today is about you. Graduation is the culmination of four years of high school work. Congratulations. It is, at the same time, a solemn and joyous occasion and I think you'll feel both through this ceremony today. As you walk across this stage, you, are, you are, don't think that you're walking away from us for good. You are our legacy. You will always be Blackman, and you will always encompass Blackman pride, and we will always treasure the years that we had with you. Parents, thank you for entrusting us to educate your children, it has been our greatest honor to do so. After 13 years, the graduating class of 2019 is closing this chapter of our lives and embarking on a new one. This accomplishment was only made possible through the help of our parents and guardians. We want to acknowledge our parents and guardians with a heartfelt thank you. Thank you for dealing with us when we were difficult. Thank you for providing constant support when we needed it the most. 
Thank you for having patience with us when we were stressed. Thank you for showing us to countless practices, recitals, games, birthday parties, and of course, school. Thank you for being you. You care about us, you love us, you instill in us morals and values that have shaped us for an independent and successful future. If you are a parent or guardian of a graduate, please stand so that we can show our appreciation and gratitude. On Friday, August 7, 2015, we began our high school career at Blackman High School. We started as just a group of anxious and lost freshmen getting those obnoxious car keys dangled in our faces by the senior class during our first pep rally. We then grew into know-it-all sophomores that were quickly put in our places when we were forced to sit outside in the freezing cold for two hours due to that infamous gas leak. We struggled through junior year together, just praying that we wouldn't fail chemistry. Finally, three years and nine months later, we were leaving as mature, goal-oriented, and determined adults. Along the way, we formed tremendous bonds with our teachers, coaches, and classmates. The class of 2019 has demonstrated incredible spirit, pride, leadership, and work ethic. As a class, we attained an average GPA of a 3.38 and an average ACT composite of a 21. And that is something to be proud of. In addition to academics, this class has seen spectacular performances put on by the band and theater departments, witnessed the cheerleaders bring back those beautiful white jackets for the third year in a row, and our class is the first to graduate students who have been a part of the Collegiate Academy all four years. Sadly, three of us could not be here today. Jonte Adams, Ethan Economy, and Carson Turner. Three individuals who are lights, not only within our school, but also in our community as well. Their lives touched many people, and I know we are all more than honored to have been able to get to know them, love them, and create amazing memories with them. We know you guys are up there smiling down on us and cheering us on as we enter this next chapter in our lives. Know that we are sharing this momentous occasion with each of you. We love and miss you all every day, and we will never forget you. At this time, will all of you please join me in a moment of silence to remember these three young men. Thank you. So, here we are, graduation day, the day we have all been waiting for. We have all worked extremely hard to get to this point, and it did not go to waste. A high school diploma will open many doors of opportunity for each one of us. However, our high school graduation should not be an end goal in itself. It is instead just one significant part of a larger journey in life. 
the rest of our lives are in front of us. And from what I have seen these last four years, I know that we have incredible potential to add some amazing accomplishments to the world. As of today, we have finally completed the necessary education that will, that will serve as a platform that will launch us into our futures. Some of us will go on to college, some will go straight into the workforce, and others will be serving our country, but each of us will travel our own path. Now, no one ever said that entering the real world was going to be easy. Tough challenges will await us now that we have exited the building at 3956 Blaze Drive we became so accustomed to these last four years. What I'm asking from each of you, as well as myself, is that we face every single challenge that comes our way with our heads held high, our hearts open wide, and with the biggest of smiles on our faces. It is not enough that we simply just try to get by in life. That is not what will move the world forward and allow this class to make a significant contribution to society. You must try to excel in everything you do. Aim for excellence in every mission, big or small. Let today serve as an eternal reminder that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. In closing, I encourage each of you to remember the time you spent here at Blackman High School, because I hear that one day we will miss what we had here. Remember those cold Friday nights we spent cheering on our football team. Remember how it felt to come to school every morning at 8.20 a.m. and walk to class with some of your closest friends. Most importantly, remember this moment. The moment of us sitting here together for one last time. Well, class of 2019, in just a few minutes, we will walk across this stage, accept our diplomas, and pass the torch on to the next class. It has been one wild ride. Here's to all the laughter, tears, and endless memories. Here's to the class of 2019. <laughs> Congratulations, and thank you all for an amazing journey. Just a quick note to self, never follow Aubrey Castor in public speaking. That was very impressive, Aubrey. You're an impressive young man. Thank you. <clears throat> well, distinguished guests, parents, and friends, family, and most importantly to the class of 2019, congratulations. We truly are your biggest fans. I hope you will enjoy this brief yet brilliant message that I have for you today. Our mind is the only thing which we have complete control over. It can be either our biggest asset or it can be our biggest liability. The good news is you get to decide because it's a personal choice in how you use it. You can decide to harness the power of your mind to deliver you the success that you conceive of or you can let it have power over you, delivering you unnecessary delays chaos, confusion, challenges, and potentially permanent failure. One of the most positive things that you can do for yourself is to decide to show up. It's amazing how prevalent that concept is, showing up. It's been said that 80% of success is to simply show up. But showing up does, doesn't just mean arriving at a place. It means being prepared to put in the work 
regardless of outside factors or obstacles, including your own naysaying mind. People who show up prepared are by no means always the most experienced or the most talented, but they make their faces known. Sometimes they don't talk at all, but they're always, always there, proving how much they care. It shows respect and dedication. Leaders of the organization remember this dedication. Showing up prepared to do your best puts you at the next level. Nothing about life is lucky. Luck is about preparing for the moment that opportunity presents itself so that you're ready when it arrives. I have come to believe this simple truth. Life is about relationships, and the quality of our lives depends upon the quality of our relationships. By showing up, you will not be able to help but to establish relationships with the people around you. You will learn to trust and to be trusted. When you forget or lose sight of that, you start to live a half-life, drowning in your doing instead of growing into your being. The essence of being fully alive is to be fully open and present for one another. So make it a point to show up, whether it means physically being present at a workspace or being mentally committed to getting something done. Go to college, take a class, help with a special project, provide community service, or just finish a book. Sweat over your projects even when you don't feel like it. Just show up. Be there for others and eventually they will be there for you. There are five students among you today who through perfect attendance from ninth grade through 12th have demonstrated that they are willing to show up. Those students are Teresa Barrett, <laughs> Hannah Cardin, Aubrey Caster, Paris Parker, and Madison Smith. There is one student among you today who through their perfect attendance for grades K through 12, yeah, and as we learned that graduation practice extended to pre-K through 12, has demonstrated they are certainly willing to show up, and that student is Xavier Churchwell. The valedictorians shall be the students who attain the highest grade point average for grades 9 through 12 and have taken a minimum of 12 hours uh, honors or above levels and meet all requirements for a student graduating with honors and a student graduating with distinction as set forth by the State of Tennessee Board of Education. We are so proud of our valedictorians of 2019, and we are honored for them to represent Blackman High School as they go on to post-secondary endeavors. Please join us in watching the video of our valedictorians.
as a freshman and me as a senior is that as a freshman, I was scared. I didn't want to put myself out there. I was afraid to ask for help. I was afraid to find friends. And now, like, I'm so much more comfortable with interacting with other people. And I'm so much more sure of who I am as a person. The difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is I say a lot more than five words nowadays. And I definitely have a lot of a lot more friends than I did back then. I think the biggest difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is my hair length. So the difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is that I'm definitely more open and outgoing. As a freshman I was very self-conscious and worried about what everyone thought of me and now no one cares. Just be yourself and go out there and have fun. One, my height. I was a very very short freshman and now I'm five nine and a half if I wear heels, um, but I also have improved in confidence and public speaking and just being able to network and connect with people wherever I go. The difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is I probably have a lot better of a work. I definitely got taller and I probably have less acne. I'm a lot less stressed now and I care less about how I dress and I probably grew about half an inch. I smile more, I'm a little less awkward and I have more friends. A lot more friends. <laughs> the biggest difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is I'm a lot more loud and annoying. Well, the difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is my hair is brown now. <laughs> Hopefully I'm a little smarter. I'm definitely quite a bit smarter now. Um, I've matured a little bit. Um, I'm a little less socially awkward, but not much. The biggest difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is that I'm a lot more open about things. People close to me can say that when I was a freshman I used to get like disgusted when we talked about certain topics, but now I'll just be like, oh yeah, me too, and we'll have conversations about all the topics without being like cringy about it. The main difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is that now I'm a, I'm a lot more lax than I used to be. I guess the difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is I'm taller and I know more and I think my eyesight and hearing have gotten a little worse. Um, the biggest advice I have for underclassmen is make sure you get involved. It, it makes you um, get connected with those around you that are similar to you. You may feel like you're not going enough to get involved, but I promise like, it makes high school a whole lot better. And One piece of advice I would give to underclassmen is to not be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone because high school is really where you find who you are and become yourself. So I would say to not hold yourself back from what it needs to become your best you. My advice to underclassmen would be that if you don't understand a subject or you have a question, just ask for help until you are able to do whatever it is you need to be doing. My advice to underclassmen would probably probably be not to stress yourself out too much. I know for me, obviously as a valedictorian, you know, I was stressing about making all A's, but it's kind of it's a GPA by semester, so you know, if you feel like maybe one quarter is not as high as you want, just do better the next quarter and don't like freak out about it. Um, my advice to underclassmen would be not to care so much about what people think and to um, push yourself and be around people that are going to push you too challenge yourself so if you take standard classes you could probably go up the honors pretty easily um, and if you're doing well in that don't be afraid to take AP or dual enrollment you'll do just fine in it. Some advice that I would give to underclassmen would be to go ahead and make your Quizlet account now because it'll be really useful in the future. Please turn your work in on time. A 75 is so much better than a zero. Being a valedictorian at Blackburn High School means that all the hard work that I put in really has paid off and all the late nights and tears um, are worth it. Uh, being a valedictorian at Blackburn High School means to me that I get to sit in the front row at graduation, I get more leg room, and I get to graduate before everybody else. Being a valedictorian at Blackburn High School it means that all the hard work and classes that I took, the hard classes, really paid off and all the countless hours studying and having to miss events just so I could study for a test and like better my grades really paid off and it really helped me in the long run. Being a valedictorian at Blackman High School is nice because it's good to be recognized for the hard work you did. And it's something I can look back, back on when I'm older and be proud of because 
It took a lot of hard work and tears and stressing and long nights, but it's something I persevered through and it's all worth it. To be a valedictorian at a Blackman High School to me means that I tried my hardest to reach this level and to be the top of my class. It gives me some reassurance on how smart I actually am, but it also means that all of my effort that I put into my work wasn't just for nothing. And For me, being a valedictorian at Blackman High School is such an honor. Blackman is a standard of excellence, and to be able to represent that is such a special thing because there's such a select few of us. I put forth the effort to get and maintain a 4.0 GPA and put in a little bit more effort to uh, be in a few AP classes and get the honors and distinction that I needed to be a valedictorian. But I would also say it doesn't make me better than anybody else. Being a valedictorian at Blackman High School means that I finally completed a lifetime goal I've had since elementary school before I even knew what a valedictorian was. To be a Blackman High School valedictorian means you had what it takes to persevere and make the cut for the best of the best. The funniest thing that happened to me at Blackman High School was at a Key Club event. We went to the Sam Davis home and my assignment was to scare children. I thought it would be funny to hide behind a house and tap on a glass and I tapped on the glass and it shattered. And everybody thought it was a sound effect and I was standing back there freaking out because there was blood all over my hand and glass everywhere on the ground. I have to say during freshman gym, we were playing kickball and I was out on the field and when the girl kicked the ball, I saw it just coming straight at me and I thought I was gonna catch it, but it ended up hitting my face. And everyone around me laughed, a couple of people asked if I was okay, but one funny memory from Blackman High School is, without mentioning any names, one of the teachers I had, who was a soccer coach here, would always call me giggles every time in his class because I laughed so loud and so frequently. So one of my funniest moments at Blackman was this year actually, my dual enrollment teacher didn't know that we were having a fire drill and he just left in the middle of it, like just drove off. One thing that I'm very glad I did here at Blackman was take advantage of all the AP classes they provide because here at Blackman they provide a lot and by taking advantage of them and putting my, pushing myself through those classes I know in the long run they will help me academically and in college to be more successful. I'm really glad that I did track at Blackman because it pushed me out of my bubble to go and talk to new people and do new things that I've never done before. I'm really glad that I took a chance on AP Chemistry the thought completely terrified me, but Miss Bauman pushed me to do it. She said, you got this. And the year honestly was kind of tough, but I passed the AP exam and have college credit now. Uh, so something that I was a part of here at Blackman was the writing center uh, headed by Miss Whitman. We worked together to tutor students with writing, so kids would come in with their essays and we would give them ideas on what to write about or revise their already written work. And I was really grateful to be a part of that because I felt like I was helping someone and putting my skills towards bettering someone else. The thing I'm most glad that I learned from Blackman High School was the importance of family and community throughout your school. Um, getting involved and making that effort to get to know the kids in your class and the teachers especially helps you form that connection. It makes your school feel more like a family. The one thing I'm glad I took advantage of at Blackman High School was the Blackman Collegiate Academy. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it my freshman year, but going through it all four years, it definitely prepared me for college and the higher learning that I'm going to receive in college. I survived Capstone. I wrote an excellent research paper, and I put tons of effort into my project, and that is something I'll remember forever because I worked hard on it. I'm proud of being a part of my CCMA class, which stands for Certified Clinical Medical Assistants, and it definitely gave me a different perspective on the healthcare field. And without this class, I wouldn't have been able to pass my test, and I wouldn't have been able to get a career right after high school. Something that I'll always remember about Blackman High School is the friends I made and the teachers I've had who have helped me succeed while I've been here. One thing I will always remember about Blackman High School would be the junior ROTC rifle team because of all of our early morning practices. The first memory I have at Blackman though is um, I'm in the Collegiate Academy so at the Collegiate Academy cookout before school even started um, I ended up meeting 
of a friend that I am still friends with now. She ended up being one of my best friends. And it was just really cool because um, I never thought that like it would be that easy for me because I was not going at all. But it turns out it ended up being such a blessing in my life. One thing that I remember about Blackman High School is that always, because they were very crazy and different from my old school. My most memorable moment at Blackman would probably be the first day of school freshman year. Um, my friends and I were walking to school. We did that for the first two years. And a bus drove by us, and they rolled through an actual puddle, and it splashed all over us on the first day of freshman year. The first memory I have at Blackman High School is getting on the bus on freshman year and going to a high school knowing that I was so excited to finally start and then I got off at the middle school thinking it was the high school so I had to walk. Um, something special that's happened to me while I've been at Blackman has been um, some great friendships I've made and the Bible study that we started together and just the people that we've been able to um, reach with God's love. I'm going to always remember winning nationals three times in a row with my cheer team. It will stick with me for the rest of my life as a perfect moment in time. Something that was really special about my time at Blackman was my time being a DECA officer. We got to go to Chattanooga and I'm about to go to Orlando in a few weeks and it definitely made Blackman um, a very enjoyable experience. Um, what I will always remember as being a Blackman High School student uh, it was probably the fact that high, this school was the only school that I was not bullied at and um, that like this is such a loving community and like very um, welcoming. Uh, other schools that I've been to, they're just not used to new students um, and I feel like Blackman's pretty good at like seeing a new kid and pulling them in and helping them out, find their classes, stuff like that. I think what I will remember most about Blackman High School is the sense of family. It's a sense of camaraderie and it's just a sense of, hey, we're all in this together, so let's do it with excellence and let's do it with that famous Blackman pride. The one thing I will remember the most about Blackman High School is the theater program. I did a show every year here at Blackman and I will never forget the time I spent here on that stage. All the pre-show rituals, such as the spirit circle that we did where we squeezed each other's hands and said a prayer before we went on show, eight shakes I did with my friends to ease the nerves, and just being on stage and having an audience and seeing all, and everybody seeing all the hard work we put into that show. I'll definitely remember all the pep rallies and homecoming week and blaze bash because being surrounded by that much food is definitely a dream come true. Blackman Pride means to me not only cheering loud at the pep rallies or all the football and sporting events, but also being a friend to any and everybody. Um, Blackman Pride can probably be summed up with a story from band after one of the football games that we won, the football players actually jumped over the fence and linked arm with the band kids and they sang the alma mater as we played it. And it was just kind of that really warm feeling that we're all a family and we're all in this together. Blackman Pride means to me a sense of community. The athletes, the Braniacs, the musicians all coming together representing Blackman. Blackman Pride means to me cheering on the sidelines on Friday nights, uh, being in the classroom, being focused and representing black men in the best way possible. Whether it be sports, academics, or clubs, Black Men Pride is doing the best that you can in everything you do because here at Black Men, all three are highly important. Black Men Pride means to me dressing up for pep rallies and yelling as loud as you can and going to every event that you possibly can to support our school as a whole. Having pride at Black Men is um, being proud of who we are and not letting anyone talk down to VHS and go blaze. It's kind of like the hypeness and the sort of like family-like bonds that we have that we make when we come over here. I don't know how to say it, but it's just like a, a great bond that's been created even though I'm just here just to come to school. Um, Blackman Pride to me means the traditions, the hard work, the dedication that's seen throughout the school. Um, it's striving to be the best person for the better of those around you. Blackman Pride is what makes the average person want to come to school. It's that feeling of community and it's not just going to football games or pep rallies or whatever, it's the feeling that you get being surrounded by people who you can relate to. The one thing I'd like to say to my parents is that I finally made it to the end of high school and I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me and just being there for me through 
the late night studies and all the projects and homeworks that I've been doing. And without you guys, I wouldn't have been the person that I am today. I love you guys. My mom and my dad. Like, I don't really say it a lot because it's a little bit hard for me to say, but I'm very grateful for my dad because of all the advice and lectures he's given me, especially about like things like business and what to do in life, how I should go about doing things. And my mom for also, you know, supporting me in my decisions and helping me out whenever possible and taking things, uh, uh, taking care of things for me at home and, you know, being supportive just like a great mother should. If I can say one thing to my parents, it would be thank you for loving me. No matter what, um, thank you for teaching me the value of hard work and showing me that success is earned, not given. I thank you for being an example in my life um, and just that I love you. I would say thank you for getting me here, for supporting me, and for driving me around like a crazy person sometimes as I go from thing to thing and place to place. Thank you for putting up with me when I wasn't in the best of moods or stressed out trying to get everything together for a project. Um, and thank you for supporting me on the way there. If I could say one thing to my parents, I would say thank you for all that you've done to me. I certainly could not have gotten this far without you. The one thing that I would like to say to my parents is thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for putting up with my attitude. Thank you for pushing me to study for every single test instead of going out with my friends. And just thank you for being my support system all throughout these four years. If I could say one thing to my parents, I guess it would be two things. I would say thank you for always believing in me and I will always love you. One thing I'd say to my parents is thank you. It's the only words I can think of to capture everything that they've done for me. One thing I would say to my parents is that I love you and thank you for everything that you've done for me and pushing me to do my homework assignments that I didn't want to do. Uh, I guess I would say to my parents, thank you for helping me while I've been in school and thank you for supporting me and everything I've done. Thank you so much for loving me unconditionally and giving me all the tools that I need to be successful. One thing I would say to my parents is thank you for always pushing me because you've instilled a huge sense of perseverance and determination in me that I will use throughout my life. Uh, to my parents, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to travel and learn in a non-traditional setting. Uh, those experiences are something that I'll never forget and I'm always going to be appreciative of that opportunity. Thank you for putting up with all of my stressful moments when I'd lock myself in my room <laughs> and bringing me cookies. If I could say anything to my parents, it would be thanks for putting up for me and always being proud of me and pushing me to do my best in school, but not being overbearing because that was really nice. Thank you for allowing me to uh, be a part of everything I was in high school and to my mom. Thank you for driving me. Thank you for listening to me complain. Thank you for listening to me cry. And to my dad, thank you for watching over me because I know you're looking down on me from wherever you are and I know you're proud of me. Class of 2019 vows on the track. Our 4.0s and our woes. Backpacks and laptops and overstuffed binders Turned in our homework, didn't need no reminders Friendships and teachers, thorough studying These are the best years that we've ever seen Been through tough classes, we got no hard passes Who would have thought it would give us this status? Rather be sleeping at home in our beds Went to school daily, now let's get this bread Our tests, stop watching, all A's now stop it. These last four years were really no problem. You like our grades? Cheap thanks. Just got it. We learn it. We like it. We want it. We got 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 it. You like our grades? Cheap thanks. Just got it. We learn it. We like it. We want it. We got it. Quizlet and cheat sheets were used rather wisely. All of our friends said this wasn't that likely We'd rather be on our phones watching Netflix Make great decisions, yeah, we don't regret this Whoever said coffee can't solve your problems Must not have drank enough coffee to solve them 
They say which chord we say now we want all them. Hard work has paid off diplomas, we got them. Our smiles are beaming, our golds, they gleam it. The way they shine, we know you see them. You've seen them, we hit the books, kept on our grind. Both him and her, we want it, we got it. 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 You like our grades, she thinks, just got it. We learn it, we like it, we want it, we got it. Got our offers, we looking like phone numbers. If it ain't full, then wrong numbers. Bright eyes, we got black and pride. The way to be cheering at pep rallies. We just fill up quick, always learn that spirit stick, yeah. All our college grads, they stacked up like a wed, yeah. Shoo. Go from quiz, it took a hoop, make it all back in one loop. Yeah, we the best group, moving out, yeah, we go whoop. Nothing but now when we shoot, look at our necks, that's a whole bet. We love all our teachers, we pay them respect. Put in our blood, tears, and that sweat. Yeah, we like it, so that's what we get, yeah. We want it, we got it. We want it, we got it. Yeah. We want it, we got it. We want it, we got it. You like our grades, she thinks, just got it. We learn it, we like it. We want it, we got it. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 valedictorians of Blackman High School, stand up and take a bow, take a wave. This year, 58 students in the class of 2019 were a part of the Blackman Collegiate Academy. BCA students are required to complete a rigorous course load, including a speech or critical thinking class, and complete a research-based capstone project that includes defending their project before a panel of faculty and administrators. They also are required to be involved in extracurricular activities and participate in a life experience aligned with their major focus. Being a part of the Collegiate Academy means that these students took full advantage of the Blackman experience, where students can thrive not only academically, but also socially, athletically, and artistically. Will the BCA class of 2019 Please stand up and be recognized. Out of respect, out of respect for each graduate and to ensure that each family hears their graduate's name, we ask that you recognize your graduate with applause only. Dr. Justice, these students have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Tennessee. Aubrey Dion Castor. Aliyah Ali Onbotna. 
Connor Ray Anderson. Catherine Olivia Anderson. Kylie Jane Bowers. Catherine Lee Brewer. Keaton Nicole DeWitt. Catherine Joy Dodd. Bailey Elizabeth Eshelman. Keegan Dean Hensley. Asa Simone Herbert. Christina May Hughes. Emma Grace Casabon. Alyssa Autumn Miller. Rebecca Morgan Nichols. Kaylee Gross Roper. Itzela Maiti St. Ponsuri. Abigail Joy Swanson. Hannah Grace Thorne. Maya Jade Vander Hayden. Matthew Shane Van Hooty. Catherine Cat Vong Pachon. Jordan Robert Birchfield. Brianna Elaine Bushman. Asia Shahar Dean. Joshua Logan Decker. Roman Lee Edwards. Aliyah Elizabeth Elzerod. Mitchell Jean Gale. Ayana May Gallant. Michael James Getzinger. As Elizabeth Riley Green. Chloe Ireland Hartquist. Elijah Reuben Paul Hernandez. Abigail Ryan Jackson. Olivia Grace Key. Lauren Francis Leonard. Summer Anaya Lester Jones. Xavier William Zaid Maxwell. Amanda Lynn May. Jessica Lauren May. Sarah Abigail McDaniel. Simon Fisaha Michael. Julia Grace Neal. Trinity Danielle Nevitt. Susie Nye. Sarah Elizabeth Ottman. Alberto Ortiz. Allie Elizabeth Paliero. Danielle Joy Sia Paredes. Paris Andrew Parker. Brock Stephen Patterson. Benjamin James Price. Mitchell Jackson Reed. 
Kendall Joe Reynolds. Sarah Jessica Sains. Elizabeth Singsook. Mateen Sargi. Seraphim Alexander Ezekiel Sherman. Hope Kennedy Sledge. Destiny Alyssa Smith. Haley Nicole Smith. Madison Victoria Elisa Smith. Emily Dale Stacy. Rachel Elizabeth Thweet. Mary Grace Tynes. Cassidy Sierra Wolslegger. Iman Faraz Abdel Kalik. Maria Isabella Abrams. Lakin Nicole Adams. Kaide Mary Damilola Adiami. Tawu Rebecca Aluwaba Jarami Adame. Mohammed Omair Ahmed. Jose Alfredo Alpakaja Sepan. Colby Austin Alexander. Jamie Payton Alexander. Taylor Leanne Alexander. Ruby Alkiyame. Jack Douglas Allen. Mohammed Amir Tariq Al Shihabi. Jordan Anthony Mbuel. Alexander Griffin Anderson. Tay Molson Anderson. Kendall Grace Andrews. Christopher Shane Appling. Michael James Arnold Brown. Abinab Sharif Ateya. Zachariah Kareem Atusi. Austin Kane Ball. Cortland J. Ballantyne. Ruben Emiliano Barajas. Svetlana Baranova. Benjamin Coleman Barnes. Teresa Leanne Barrett. Connor George Bartosek. Bailey Lorraine Bass. Johnny Lee Arthur Bates. Tyler Wilson Battle. Keely Ryan Bean. William Maxwell Beasley. Thomas Edward Bell. Miguel Angel Bello. Mason Bennett Bermudez. 
Jillian Michelle Rush. Rachel Nicole Blair. Miles Cameron Blake. Jonathan Hunter Blaylock. Quinton Deshaun Blasio. Andrew Paul Bloomfield. Haley Claire Bodie. Brandon Dion Bohannon. Jada Maria Lee Bond. Yasmin Unique Bond. Shelby Texera, Lynn Texera Borges. Ronnie Boonkoon. Zachary Scott Bowden. Natalie Brooke Bradford. Ethan Alexander Bragg. Isaac Vadim Bragg. Sarah Ann Branham. Vernicia Cache Brock. Jessica Ann Bro. Julian Miles Broughton. Jack Owen Brown. Jalen Deshaun Brown. Kalista Morgan Brownlow. Luke Benjamin Buckley. Justin Tyler Bird. Jacob Andrew Bergens. Aaron Cecilia Burns. Anastasia Lorraine Bushnell. Adeline Celeste Kane. Hannah Rose Carter. Keegan Tyler Carlisle. Zane Lamar Carney. Jalea Brene Carpenter. Molly Elizabeth Carr. Angela Vianne Carrillo. Bryson Gregory Carroll. Brindley Gail Carter. Naya Nicole Carruthers. Alejandro Jose Cervera. Tiana Marie Chanarak. Devana Sakara Chanthasang. Aiden Scott Chu. Journey Mariah Childress. Xavier Cortez Churchwell. Robert Garrett Clark. Kyla Nicole Clemens. 
Caleb Robert Cobb. Margaret Ellen Cobb. Cameron Christopher Cochran. William Blake Cochran. Ian Marshall Cochran. Gabriel Pierre Coleman. James Christopher Kahn II. Jonathan Thomas Copley. Morgan Lee Preston Corley. Zachary Caleb Council. Cameron Douglas Cowles. Mary Sophia Cox. Abby Mackenzie Crawford. William DeCorion Crawford. Carson Grace Chrysler. Haley Nicole Crossland. William Bryce Daniels. Taylor Nicole DeSaro. Bailey Kirsten Davenport. Everett Thomas Davis. Gage Thomas Davis. Caitlin Nicole Davis. Matthew Spencer Davis. Valerie Ann Davis. Ian Xavier De Leon. Anthony Charles Dale. Alonze Avante Dubert. Tamara Danielle Diallo. Tatiana Cheryl Diallo. Archer Allen Neal Dickey. Alyssa Jean Doko. Sierra Amon Dodson. Carly Michelle Donaldson. Andrew Michael Drury. Noah Christopher George Eckerly. Mason Gregory Edmondson. Liam Tate Elam. Michaelius Nehemiah Elder. Corey Devon Elliott. Madison K. Eskew. Jenny Babe Oy Espiritu. Hillary Giselle Esquivel. Darian Sebastian Farasi. Alyssa Michelle Farmer. 
Alexis Genevieve Barnum. Walker Lane Farah. Leslie Ruiz Fernandez. Shelby Elizabeth Fielder. Kaylee Ann Finley. Madison Pearl Fisher. Brian Avery Fitzpatrick. Alexandra Elise Flummerfeld. Jacob Allen Ford. Krista Marie Forsberg. Landon Bradley Fowler. Pierston Deontay Fox. Jeffrey Edward Franklin. Sandra Bailey French. Alexander Robert Frischer. Mia Sky Fulmer. Melana, Melanie Anna Irene Foltz. Caleb Scott Funk. Anna Grace Gabbard. Mitchell Jean Russell Gaines. Patrick Dean Gaines. Joseph Isaac Gallegos. Kanan Edward Gallup. Jacob Lee Gann. Nathaniel James Garrett. Ermilindo Gaspar Ramirez. Mary Hannah Gass. Nicholas Kevin Jurisey. Natalie Kristen Gerlach. Joseph Paul Goldberger. Benjamin Robert Gomia. Cameron Joseph Gonzalez. Hayden Reese Gooden. Melissa Marie Gwynn. Sebastian Andrew Gutierrez. Israel Gutierrez Rayon. Deborah Danielle Haley. Alexandra Elizabeth Hare. Matthew Aaron Hall. Catherine Deanna Hamby. Mary Ashlyn Hamby. Easton Patrick Hamilton. Alyssa Cheyenne Hart. Melody Suzanne Hart. Dawson Anthony Hartley. Grace Elizabeth Hasselbrink. Jenny Kaylin Hathcock. Brianna Jean Hay. Imani Ophelia Hayes. Gage Curtis Haynes. 
Braden Dane Heller. Jonathan Ryan Helwig. Michaela Marie Henderson. Emily Salah Adele Hainan. Garland Javon Henley. Kelsey Dolores Terrier Henry. Adrian Hernandez. Justice Tyler Herndon. Jeffrey Lighton Hule. Brent Cole Higgins. Alan Michael Haney. DeAndre Jaheem Holiday. Jamariana Zakia Hollinsworth Pugh. Haley Carson Holmes. Taylor Nicole Ashley Houston. Taya Michelle Humes. Madeline Renee Humphrey. Cameron Faye Hunter. Emma Elizabeth Hutzel. Jason Daniel Hysong. Lucian Andrew Victor Isaac. Marsha It's a Loomsack. Daryl Antoine Jackson. Vanessa Bernice Jimenez Perez. Jordan Jerome Johnson. Caden Gabriel Johnson. Sage Anna Rose Harrington Johnson. Tamara Nicole Johnson. Kennedy Sierra Jones. Kerrigan Elizabeth Jones. Ladarius Terrell Jones. Michaela Ad Adiana Jones. Miguel Angel Hoya. Skylar Trinity Judd. Reagan Christine Judge. Noah Thomas Junker. Brianna Grace Kane. Garrett Nicholas Kalmeyer. Jessica Nicole Kearney. Marissa Cheyenne Kemper. Alexander Christian Cattell. Sarah Khalid Cater. Alexander Summith Kunsai. Carmen Samer Corey. Raquel Elena Kellings.
good one, Aaron Kilpatrick. Maria Ehab Perlos. Jamison Edwin Kitzler. Joshua Calvin Kleinschmidt. Audrey May Klein. Emma Nicole Kanek. William Lewis Knox III. Zachary Taylor Kruger. Mark Anthony Giovanni Quilon. Douglas James Kujak. Lauren Marshall Lamphere. Cameron Danielle Laurie. Spencer Thurman Lane. Daniel James Ledoux. Jacob Cole Lester. Peyton Curtis Letelier. Danielle Nicole Lewis. Emily Jane Lewis. Anna Carolina Lima. Simone Joyce Lawrence. Ariana Lene Lofton. Abigail Lorraine Loki. Caitlin Janelle Long. Brian Neptali Lopez. Lexi McLean Ludlam. Emma Christine Luther. Rowan Andrew McLaren. Tatiana Giselle Maldonado. Lena Ginak Molly Vaughn. Olivia Lynn Mandershad. Caitlin Avery Manus. Alexia Marie Maple. Anaya Isabella Martin. David Cole Martin. Jacqueline Alessandra Martinez. Jasony Cyan Mason. James Hayden Master. Kalsani Matafwali. Vanessa Sonia Grace May. Kiasia Shanice Mayberry. Abigail Lynn McAfee. David Shane McCandless. 
Jazz Aaron McCord. James Sebastian McGee. Elena Grace McGill. Christopher James McGoldrick. Courtney Michelle McGriff. Mitchell Adam McGuire. Jessica Sydney McKnight. Ian Nicholas McMillan. Aristide Draven McMullen. Jalisa Monia McPherson. Harsh Aniruda Mita. Gregory Scott Meisinger. Amer Jamil Melham. Stephanie Arden Melier. Austin Scott Melton. David Ashby Milam. Melanie Nicole Miller. Anna Elizabeth Mincy. Tyler Keandre Andrew Mitchell. Duran Josiah Mumford. Jackson Montgomery Moore. Lyric Anaya Moore. Metric James Moore. Thomas Cole Moore. Richard Gustavo Moran. Jai Armand Morris. Kobe Xavier Morrow. Kristen Nicole Mortensen. Kayvon Dwayne Morton. Benny David Mukindi. Aaron Benjamin Music. Tamikus Tyreek Napier. Natalie Christina Nelson. Skylar Kiasia Nesbitt. Madison Nicole Nickens. Nathaniel Brian Niles. Nicholas Joseph Noble. Tyler Page Norfleet. Taichi Nasaka.
Angel Uriel Nunez. Philip William Zhao. Sierra Rose O'Brien. Sean Braxton O'Brien. Emily Kate O'Neill. Maisha Jawa Odom. Kalisha Avion Orr. Evan Connor Osborne. Jonathan Taylor Osborne. Kenneth Germaine Owens. Ujaya Pan. Kaylee Brooke Parker. Jalen Dre Parker. Nathaniel Hunter Parker. Daniel Jeffrey Parks. Cushy N. Patel. Krishna Kalpesh Patel. Needy Jagdish Kumar Patel. Princess Elena Patrick. Alec Donovan Patton. David Grady Payne. Trevor Dylan Payne. Cameron Ardenia P. Riley James Perez. Ashley Nicole Perhack. Nathaniel John Peters. Jacob Ryan Peterson. Elizabeth Marie Pettis. Cameron Gerald Philippon. April Michelle Phillips. Carrie Kai Lynn Phillips. Trace Cardell Pickens. Nazim Valicia Pierce. Tyson David Panette. Erica Darnielle Porter. Lena Victoria Pratt.
Michaela Ann Price. Jorian Deshawn Pugh. Kate Francis Purdy. Caitlin Brooke Ragland. Hannah Louise Ramsey. Delaney Grace Range. Mina Lee Rathmanifay. Jenna Marie Rawls. Tanner Weston Raymer. Alexis Brooke Reed. Asia Unique Reed. Montana Rose Renner. Monica Del Sagrario Reyes Menriquez. Catalina Elizabeth Rice. David James Rico. Brittany Ann Ridenauer. Taylin Ari Ridley. Benjamin Thomas Roa. Elizabeth Brooke Robinson. Elena Rodriguez. Jocelyn Nayeli Rodriguez Gaitan. Bethany Teresa Rollo. Joey Lynn Ray, uh, Roman, excuse me. Isabella Marie Rose. Troy Edward Ruth the second. Jean Ray Ruiz. Connor McGuire Russell. Adonis Xavier Russell Otay. Brian Joshua Saban. Usman Mohammed Saeed. Ali Salman. Jordan Rain Salter. Jesse Ahmad Samson Lewis. Luis Gabriel Sanchez. Talia Denise Sanchez. Christian Clark Sanderson. Zachary Michael Skaggs. Anderson Howard Schubert.
Leah Marie Sexton. Corey Robert Seiler. Haley Christine Shake. Hanif Ali Sharif. Taikis Gabriel Shepard. Avery Catherine Shields. Rachel Christine Shores. Haley Celeste Simon. Sydney Jean Sims. Haley Danielle Slatton. Courtney Elise Smalls. Evan Ray Smart. Brandon Dior Smith. Sierra Nicole Smith. Cameron Jordan Somerville. Elena Gracie Sorrow. Natalie Elaney Susie. Matthew Kanta Suria. Jacob Christian Spence. Trevor Nicholas St. John. Jeffrey Allen Stanton. Dylan Kyle Stebbins. Jemiah Zaisia Steele. Casey Tiana Stevens. Zion Jalene Stevens. Brooke Victoria Stewart. Lindsay Nicole Stone. Caleb Joshua Strickland. Kaylin Elena Strong. Takesia Galen Sabane Searles. Travis Russell Swagger. Tyler Grant Swagger. Taylor Joy Sitzma. Rachel Elizabeth Tarpley. Alec David Taylor. Autumn Gail Taylor. Karsten Glenn Taylor. Christopher Allen Taylor. Eric Anthony Taylor. Autumn Lynn Taylor King.
Amara Alexa Tonsami. Andrew Michael Thomas. Noah Jordan Thomas. Sarah Ruth, Aunt, Ruth Autumn Thompson. Brooklyn Jade Tomlinson. Cody Marissa Torres. Kyle Allen Transky. Caleb James Travis. Layla Ayana Uramana. Corey Jerome Valovich. Nia Lachey Van Zandt. Abraham Jesus Vargas. Simon Uzbaldo Vargas. Emily Grace Vaughn. Daniela Teresita Vasquez. Elena Dakari Verge. Jacob Robert Vick. Stephen Taylor Vidu. Madison Simone Wade. Kendra LaShawn Walker. Michaela Shanice Walker. Natalie Christine Walker. Ted Del Rey Walker. Eric Bryson Walrath. Jalen Montrell Walston. Aladasia Loria Washington. Caroline May Copeland Watson. Mona Elizabeth Weatherington. Paxton Cole Wiesner. Cameron Lacey Wharton. Madeline Lorraine Witten. Aaron Ashley Wilcox. Raheem Sincere Wilkins. Angel Marie Williams. Camden Nicholas Williams. Destiny Lachey Williams.
Anandra Lanice Williams. Corey Jaron Williams. Kirkland Jacobe Willis. Zeta Angelique Willis. Annalise Brielle Wilson. Jalen O'Neill Windrow. Timothy Terrence Weinkoff. James Connor Wiseman. Kayla Leanne Wilkowitz. Naya Simone Woodson. Tristan Heath Woodward. Jacqueline Yadiga Wright. Malia Nantha Zayacek. Brianna Renee Yeager. James Mason Yates. Audrina Marie Young. Garland Vaughn Young III. Marlon Vaughn Young. Jared Thomas Zuck. Joseph Paul Zidel. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Blackman High School class of 2019. Congratulations to my fellow graduates of the 2019 class of Blackman High School. Would the graduates and the audience please stand and join in singing the Blackman High School alma mater the words are printed in the graduation program and are shown on the video screens. <laughs> 